Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be updating and backing up your iPhone. So to get started on your Mac, we just have to find Finder. If you don't see Finder up there, just go on the top right hand corner and you're going to see the spotlight search. So let's just go right into it. And from there, just type in Finder, select your very first option. Once Finder opens up on the left hand side corner, we're going to see locations. So just look at locations and select your device. So right now it's our iPhone. This would be the same thing if you guys have an iPod Touch, by the way. And once we select our iPhone, we should see this. And this is perfect. So right now we have to do our backup. And our backups is our second option down here below. So we're going to see that it says backup most important data on your iPhone to iCloud. We don't want that. We want everything to our Mac. And that's to get away from that 5 gig limit that we have on iCloud. Right now, if you back it up on this Mac, we're going to be OK. By the way, you do also have an option to encrypt your backup. But for now, we're just going to go ahead and back it up. So down here below on the right hand side, you're going to see backup now. Just press right there. And on the top, we should see this message. If you really want to encrypt your backups, go ahead and encrypt your backups. That way your passwords and everything will also get saved. So it's really up to you. At this point in time, this actually did change my mind. I'm just going to go ahead and encrypt my backup. As your password, you could use the same password as your iCloud just to keep everything consistent, but it's usually better just to change them up a little bit. After you click on set password, if I just zoom out a little bit, you're going to see that the backup started. And how do I know that? Well, on the left hand side corner where it says locations, I should see this thing moving around. So if it's spinning, that means it's backing up. After the spinning, we should see this icon and that's going to keep moving. This is the icon that we actually want. And that's because this tells us how much it's actually backing up. It does depend your backup speed on how much information you have in your iPhone, iPad, or iPad touch. So again, this will fill up the whole way and then we're done. So again, this is a perfect way to get away from that iCloud 5 gig limit that we have for free. We can always do our backups right here on our Macs. If you guys have PCs, by the way, you can always use iTunes in order to do this. This is also a way to update your iPhone iPod Touch if you're having any problems doing it directly from your phone itself or iPad. Maybe your iPad tells you that or your iPhone tells you that it's already up to date, but it really isn't. Well, this is the workaround. Just do it through your computer. So after the backup is done, we should just see that icon right there. Plus on our main window, we should see the last backup to this Mac should be today. Since we're done with our backup, we can go ahead and check for the update. So it doesn't matter if this tells you that it's up to date or if there's a new version, just hit on update. You should see this message and just go ahead and update it. From there, we're going to get this window. Just hit on next on the bottom left hand side and on the bottom right hand side. Again, going to agree. Right now, all we have to do is just wait. And then yes, part of the installation will be on your phone. But for now, just make sure everything is hooked up. And again, on the left hand side, we're going to see locations down here below and that's how we know something's happening. So right here I can see my phone and there's that spinning. So again, we just have to wait for that and I will hopefully be able to record what's happening on the phone later on. But right now everything's taking over in your computer. So after just a few minutes we should see this window and this should still be spinning. Right at this point where you get this message on the top, you should see your iPhone screen white with an Apple logo and a loading bar. Now that loading bar is going to load pretty slow, so just wait for it. So after a while on your phone, you should see, like I mentioned, that logo loading bar. That should load all the way. It's going to go really slow. On your computer, you're going to see this message. Just click on OK. Everything else will take over in your phone. Obviously, in order for all this to happen, make sure to hook up your iPhone to your computer using that cable that came with your iPhone. So that's that charger cable. And here is exactly what you should be seeing and you saw on your phone from before. So the first Apple logo and loading bar would have gone really slow. The second Apple logo and a loading bar will go a lot faster. And then we should be done with the update. So this is my iPhone screen. So once the update is done, you're going to see this on your phone. So this is my phone. That's what you have to see. And to make sure that you're up to date, obviously you can go into settings. So once you go into your settings, just scroll down until you see general, the general software update, which is your second option. And you should see iOS 14 and your software is up to date, then you are good to go. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.